Hello, and thank you for viewing this presentation on Parker Hannafin's OSPE Auriga Systems Plus actuators. This presentation will focus specifically on one of the belt-driven electromechanical stages offered by the OSPE line, known as the OSPE BHD. B standing for belt and HD standing for heavy duty. The OSPE BHD is the most popular within the OSPE family and is known for its low profile and rigid design. Relative to the rest of the OSPE family, the BHD series has a high normal load and thrust capacity and is capable of high speeds over long strokes. Let's review some of the basic design characteristics of the OSPE BHD. The OSPE BHD is composed of a moving carriage that is guided by two bearing trucks along an integrated rail which is mounted to its extruded aluminum body. The carriage is driven by a steel reinforced belt. This belt is typically driven by a gear head coupled to either a servo or stepper motor. Belt tension is adjusted via the tension station opposite the drive end of the actuator. A thin steel strip that rides up and through the carriage assembly maintains the actuator's IP54 rating. Lastly, there are ducktail grooves within the body that provide as a mounting platform for both home and limit sensors. The OSPE BHD is available in four different profile sizes, the 20, 25, 32, and 50. The OSPE BHD has the largest thrust capacity of the actuators within the OSPE family ranging from 124 pounds with the OSPE BHD20 all the way up to 701 pounds with the OSPE BHD50. Likewise, the OSPE BHD also has the largest normal load capacity of the Auriga family, ranging from 360 pounds in the OSPE BHD20 all the way up to 3,370 pounds in the OSPE BHD50. When selecting an OSPE BHD, there are two different bearing options to choose from. Typically, the square root option should be selected unless the application requires extremely high speeds, in which case the roller bearing option might be required. There are three different carriage options available to choose from for the OSPE BHD. First of which is the standard single carriage option. Second is a tandem carriage option which uses two carriages that move in unison for higher normal or moment load capacity. Lastly, there is an option for biparting carriages where the carriages move in opposing directions to one another. This actuator would be used in part clamping operations or in applications to open or close two wings of a door with a single actuator. When specifying order stroke, be sure to keep in mind the minimum suggested carriage spacing for optimum performance. Suggested values can be found on page 15 of the catalog. The OSPE BHD can be mounted in one of two ways. Either laid flat in what is referred to as either the top or bottom orientation, or rotated 90 degrees to be mounted on its side. To mount in the flat orientation, select the A option for a pair of the CN style mounts. To mount the actuator in the side orientation, select the B option for a pair of CO style mounts. There are three different profile mounts that clamp to one of the four dovetail grooves over the body of the OSPE BHD. Adding these profile mounts allows for improved rigidity over the body of the actuator. How many mounts should you use? Consult the OSPE catalog, pages 24 and 25, to determine the maximum distance you can span. As a conservative rule of thumb, have a support every half meter to ensure adequate stiffness. There are three different motor and gearhead mounting options available for the OSPE BHD. First of which, just being a gearhead adapter flange. Second, including the gearhead and motor mounting kit, and lastly, with a gearhead and mounted motor. The OSPE BHD can also be mounted in several multi axis configurations based upon your need. Be sure to contact a Parker Applications engineer should the need arise for a multi axis system. 
All OSPE BHD actuators have a carriage mounted magnet that provides home and limit sensing. These switches are available as either PNP or NPN style with either a flying lead or an M8 connection. Be sure to identify your operation direction relative to where you intend to mount the switch, as the switch can only be activated from one side of the actuator. Proper actuator sizing and selection can be made using EL Sizing, Parker's free mechanics sizing tool. A separate video is also available on parkermotion.com describing how to use this sizing tool. Be sure to visit parkermotion.com for any other inquiries you might have into Parker's automation product.